Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create a image viewer using Python. So first of all, let's see that what will be the final output which you can expect from this uh, video. So this is our image viewer UI. If you press the next button, the next image will be displayed to our next view photo then next if we press this previous one we'll go to previous one then previous one then again previous one then again next one then again next one okay so this is our GUI which we'll create so we'll use Kinter to create our GUI we'll use PIL to import those images into our GUI okay so one thing new I have added to this video in this project I'll show you totally that how you can create this project but I will leave one bug for you to debug okay you have to find that what that bug is and you have to debug this because what people usually do is they fast forward to the very last of the video and then just copy paste the code now I am not totally against with this but if you are doing this then you must be familiar with the package or the programming which we are doing now what you all do is you copy the code then if it's not working you ask the most stupid question in the comment section and it feels so irritating because I have answered the same very question in my video so don't do that watch the whole video because I try to create the shortest video as possible okay so you need only one package to be installed here which is PIL so quickly jump to uh, command prompt and just pip install pillow okay pip install pillow and press enter this package will be installed for you okay so Kinta comes pre-installed so you don't need to install that okay so now let's come to our editor so that we can write our code okay so now we are into our editor so our first task is to import our required libraries which is first Kinta second PIL and third is OS because we need to extract the names of our JPJ files. Okay. Okay, so now we have imported our required libraries. Make sure that this PIL is capital, this I, this I and this T is capital here. Okay, now I have divided this project into two sections in first one we'll create our GUI and import our initial picture into that then in the second section we'll install our two side buttons for the left swipe and for the right swipe to change the images okay so now let's create our GUI so first of all we'll create a root variable and TK instance here okay then we'll define that what will be the geometry so it's not toot it's root okay so it's geometry should be geometry here and you can write any size here I'll write 600 into 600 okay okay so now let's create a variable n now I'll explain you later in this video that why we have created this n variable but for now just create this one okay so now let's create an items variable items actually items list and then we'll do os dot list dir because we want to extract all the file names from this directory and we'll write pics here because there is a folder inside uh, this image viewer folder so wherever you are having your Python file create another folder and then provide the name of the folder here now I am doing this because if you copy the images in the same folder where you are having your Python files then this list item uh, sorry 
item list variable will also have your python file name and this will create an error because you cannot display your python file as an image okay so now let's select the first image actually python indexing start from zero so let's start from zero here yeah? you can start from one also you can start from two also but let's start from our first image let's create a variable image one and then uh, we'll do items list and then from the items list we want to extract the first element now just give me a second i'm explaining you what i have done here so first of all we have extracted all the file names from our pix folder and stored that into a item list variable and from that item list variable which is a list we want to extract the 0th or the first element which is the first image name so now let's create our different elements that we want to add in our gui so we'll have only one element only which is our image and two of our buttons so three elements so let me add this then i'll explain you how they are created okay okay so now we have created our label variable now i know you must be confused with a lot of variables here like what is photos what is resize function and what is copy image okay so now let's make them known so we'll do our image processing part that is we are gonna import that image and make it embeddable into our gui so we'll use our pil methods here so first of all let's create a variable image then image dot open make sure that this i is capital here then we'll write the file name here so you you'll simply write one uh, sorry dot uh, this uh, symbol it's not coming in my mind uh, right now and then we'll simply do plus and the image one name here so what it will do is it will open the image which is present in this pix folder and the name of that picture is what we have selected from this list of image okay now let's create a copy of this image copy of image because we want to send that copy of image into a resize image function so that we can resize all our images according to our gui now in our folder we are having different images with different uh, height and width so this resize image function will all will resize them all according to our gui so this will simply do image dot copy uh, i guess this i should be capital here no because this is the variable name then we'll simply do a photo uh, we'll create a photo variable and it should be image here tk dot photo uh, image just a second it should be together and this photo should be capital here okay so now let me explain you what i have done in this command we have created a photo variable and then we have converted this this um, image which we have extracted from our folder to be embedded in our kinter gui so photo image image tk which was for kinter and then photo image uh, function here now we are done here so let's uh, first close our main loop root dot main loop uh, and then create our resize function okay so let's go somewhat above and let's create our resize image uh, what was the name of the function resize image so we'll go here and copy paste this one okay and then it selects three uh, three parameters right yeah three parameters 
so we'll specify three parameters here so our first variable will be the new uh, height so the height of our GUI is 600 so let's manually feed this uh, sorry width <laughs> Uh, it should be width it is 600 okay now let's create an image variable and we'll simply do copy of image dot resize um, and then the resize parameters is our new uh, height i guess new height no new width is the first parameter huh? and then the new height is the second parameter so uh, we are using our dot resize method here to convert the copy of image which was the same image which we have extracted into a new dimension which is 600 by 600 which is the height and width of our gui then let's create a photo variable photo then we'll do same here image tk okay we'll do same thing here uh, photo is equal to photo dot image tk then we'll configure our label uh, label one dot configure uh, configure we are implementing our image into our gui so the image is equal to our photo variable okay and then to eliminate any of the garbage value we uh, will simply do uh, uh, this is equal to photo so label one dot image is equal to photo so that no garbage value is remaining here so let me again explain you what this function is doing so we have provided three parameters actually we don't need this one but let it be so these two parameters are important label one and copy image so we have created two variable for for our height and width then we have resized our image into our new height and width then we have converted our image so that it can be embedded into our kinter gui then we have configured our label with this image then we have removed any of the garbage value so now let's uh, create our two buttons now so let's say b1 and b2 so let's create first b1 now let me write this then i'll explain you each of the parameters inside okay so now we have created our first button which is for the next video so let me explain you the parameters here first is the uh, enter instance root then we have the text which will be displayed in our button then the width of the button the height of the button uh, button and then the function that this button will trigger okay so we have created the button here then we are placing this button into our gui so this is the coordinate of x this is the coordinate of y now we haven't used this in our label which was the image because the image will be displayed all over our gui okay so let's work on our next uh, image first so uh, now let's create our next function so let's create our next function so we don't need any parameter here but we need some global values the global value n not new height global value n and then the global value items list okay and then we want to uh, add one to our n because we want to see the next image so we'll add one to our list then we'll do the exactly same thing we want to extract the image so i'll copy this from here just a second paste it here okay now just to make things lot more transparent let me uh, print the image one variable so that we can see that what is the name of the image that we are printing you can see here i was printing the name of the images now we have to do the exactly same thing that we have done for our uh, initial 
label so i'll just copy this and paste it here let me indent this okay so now let's run this okay and we are getting an error which was very much expected it has no as geometry okay the spelling was wrong should be m e t r y okay again an error 600 by 600 i guess there there should be no space inside uh where is raw it should be root let me see the line of the error the last line root dot main loop okay so nothing is visible which is pretty strange um okay so it is visible okay so let me run this again because it was a little bit weird okay so nothing is displaying here just a second let me see that what is happening okay so everyone sorry for the delay so you have to do so you have to make two changes in your program first of all you have to pack our label one here and then you have to change the name of the label here okay so let me run this again other than that you need uh, you don't need to make any changes so if you press the next button next image then again next button then again next image next 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 okay so this is working fine let's do the same for our previous image button oh uh -huh. just a second let's do the same for our previous image let's leave some space and copy this here and we'll write previous here so previous and everything will be same except this should be minus and we have to change the label name also here okay and then let's create the button for our previous one uh this should be b2 b2 the sign will be opposite and the function that this uh button will trigger is previous previous and the coordinates will also be changed uh it will be 0 by 150 so x is equal to let's save this and run this okay so our next one is running our previous one is also running our next one is running next one is running next one is running next one is running previous one is running previous one is running previous one is running okay so now let me show you the bug that this program is having if you keep going back you will reach a point where this uh, n value will reach out of the index value so you have to find the solution for this problem okay so this is it this was a short video where i have shown you that how you can create an image viewer from scratch using uh, python the library used was kinter and pil so and do not forget to comment the solution below if you find it and i'll pin your comment okay so this is it and i'll meet you in my next lecture where we'll create something more awesome okay so meet you there bye bye